Hey everybody, this is Indium here. Welcome you back to another episode of Let's Play Mega Man 3. Right, so in the last episode we did Needle Man, Top Man, Shadow Man, and Gemini Man. So in this episode we only have one robot remaining and it's Snake Man. So let's do this. Alright, come on, Snake Man, show me what you got. Huh. Show me what you got. Alright, so the Snake Man stage is probably the hardest stage in the whole game, in my opinion. Like, I don't know what it is about Snake Man stage, it's so damn hard because you've got all these snake heads trying to kill you. And you've got all these bouncing things trying to kill you as well. It's good to get back into the Mega Man action again, actually. It's been a while since I last recorded this, so... Because I didn't record any Mega Man yesterday, because I already had a video recorded yesterday. So today I might record two episodes of Mega Man. Um, because I'll be recording probably later on tonight, because uh, it's only 10.51 in the evening, so I'll probably record some more later if I'm in the mood. Well, it depends how I'm feeling. Alright, so yeah, you got like mini bosses in this stage as well, you got giant snake heads. So yeah, the pattern of these are kind of easy to dodge, you just, well, I just got hit, so there you go. <laughs> and I got hit again, great. And again, and again. Alright, so yeah, you got two of these snake heads to kill in the stage, the giant snake heads. There's one that comes up later on in the stage. Now, I always thought you needed to get use Rush Coil to get up that ladder, because it looks like it's kind of out of reach, but you can just about make it. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, we're not at the checkpoint yet, but this looks like kind of a room that would be the checkpoint room, but no, this isn't the checkpoint room. You gotta be kidding me. This stage is probably the longest stage in the whole game, actually. I don't know what it is about this damn stage. Right, so I just recorded Banjo Kazooie, and it lagged like crazy at the beginning of the video. Uh, I don't know what was going on. I think it was just because it was loading up something, like loading up a program, or. I don't know what it was doing, but it was lagging. And it was lagging before I even started recording, so. <laughs> but then, after a while, it stopped. Like, uh, a quarter of the way through the video, the lag just stopped, so it was fine. It was just like the first few minutes of it just lagged a bit, but I don't think it's really that noticeable, and it doesn't affect the commentary, like the commentary doesn't go out of sync. So it's all in sync and everything, it's just... Because usually when games lag and recording, while you're recording, it can um, desync your your commentary which has happened a few times with me in my Mario Galaxy let's play so yeah huh. I was hoping to get an e-tank from that but I didn't yeah being cheapskates alright so what I hope to do for this video is get snake man done and three dock robot stages done in this one whole episode so then we can do the last Doc Robot stage and Break Man, and then we can move on to Dr. Wily's Castle and probably do the first stage in Dr. Wily's Castle in the next episode. So, yeah, I've basically got everything planned out for the rest of this LP pretty much. Because, um, you know, Dr. Wily's Castle isn't really that long. There's only, I think there's about three stages, maybe four. But they're not huge stages, they're not like um, Mega Man 2's Dr. Wily's Castle. Mega Man 2, Dr. Wily's Castle is really long. But, right, okay, we need to use Rush Coil to get over here. I always use Rush Coil over here, because I, I, just, I just don't feel comfortable trying to make that jump. Because I'm always like, eh, I think I'm going to fall, and then I always end up falling. <laughs> so, I just use Rush Coil, because it's easy. And it's more reliable than trying to jump over there yourself. And I'm glad I've got Rush Jet as well, because I'm going to show you something that you can do in this stage with Rush Jet. And you can pretty much skip out this whole sequence with Rush Jet. So you don't have to ride all these crappy platforms to get across. Because you got all you got all this crap, and then you got Bullet Bills trying to hit you at the same time as well. Yeah, these things. So you can just basically skip out everything <laughs> and it's the easiest way of doing it in my opinion so there you go you can just get right over here and there you go done and dusted so now we're at snake man 
And Snake Man's weakness is Needle Man, which I mentioned in the last episode. And Snake Man is the hardest robot, in my opinion, to beat without its weakness. So I recommend you do Needle Man stage, stage before you fight Snake Man, unless you're really hardcore and think you can beat Snake Man with your arm cannon, which I have seen people do, which is crazy. <laughs> I couldn't do it, I'll tell you that now. And I only just found out the other day that if you die, you don't lose all your E-Tanks, you actually keep them. So that's also something to keep in mind, is to not waste all your E-Tanks as easily huh, like that. Well, I thought that stage was going to take a lot longer than what it did. I didn't even die once. Well, there you go. Magnet Man, Snake Man, Top Man, and Hard Man are broken down. So now we've got... So now Spark Man, Needle Man, and Shadow Man, and Gemini Man have revived. So we are going to do... It doesn't really matter which one you start off with, because you have all the weapons and stuff. So we're going to do Sparkman first, what the hey. Because I think Sparkman stage is probably one of the easiest ones to do. And basically what the Doc Robot stages are, they are, cut, they are the same looking stages as what Sparkman stage originally was, but they've just made it a, a, a pinch or a... Uh, ta tad more difficult, yeah, that's right, <laughs> a tad more difficult, I was trying to think of the right word to say there, but... Alright, so let's get our Shadow Blades, and use this against that, because you can't kill that thing with your arm cannon, because your arm cannon only shoots in two directions, left and right. Alright, so... Oh, there's a health pickup up there, but I don't really need it. Why would they put a health pickup there? Like seriously, <laughs> you've only just started out the stage, and you're only fight. You've only fought like two enemies. As if you're gonna take that much damage to need something like that to recover your health back. I mean, they should have put it somewhere like here. Because I mean, if you're playing this game for the first time, you know, you're probably gonna take quite a lot of damage against those things that are shooting sparks at you. Alright, so we're coming up to the first boss here. Yeah, I know, the first boss. Already? You gotta be kidding me. But yep, we are. Just gotta slide one more time, and here we go. And I do know this one's weakness. It's Magnet Man. So we've got to use Magnet. And what's this? Wait! This cannot be! It's Metal Man from Mega Man 2! Yeah, that's right, it is Metal Man. So... Just keep jumping. Wow, that was easy. What the hell was that? <laughs> oh my god. Alright, okay. <laughs> well, there you go. Magnet Man took so much damage against Metal Man. He didn't really stand a chance now, did he? Alright, so yeah, we got more spike gauntlets here. Yeah, that one isn't too bad because there's a lot more space to move in between where you have to actually turn. Alright, how many E tanks do I have? Oh my god, I have no E tanks. No E-Tanks! What, what is this madness, dude? I thought I had some. Clearly not. Alright, jump. There we go. La-di-da-da-da. 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 Alright guys, I'm back. Sorry about that. <laughs> okay, right. Uh, what was I talking about? I can't remember. Uh, I think I was just making random noises. <laughs> Going la di da 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 Yeah, random noises for the win. Right, okay. <laughs> right, I forgot what the weakness is for this boss, actually, that's up ahead. So yeah, these dock robot stages actually have two bosses in them. Two bosses per stage. Right, so now I want to use Rush Jet soon, so... Yeah, it's right here where I want to use Rush Jet. It's just to get through this. Because there are some tricky jumps here. Because look how low the roof is, and when you jump, you're going to bump onto the roof like that, and you're just going to jump and fall. Because I've done that before, actually. <laughs> Had my head bumped and fell on the f fell down into the pit of abyss of nothingness. Alright, so yeah, this boss is really hard. I'm not even kidding. I don't even know what this guy's weakness is. Uh, Like, I use Gemini Man, but... I don't know. I don't even know if it's Spark Man, to be honest, or Snake Man, or 
What? You know, I'm gonna try Spark Man. Just try and try and experiment here. Snake. Oh wow, it is Snake. What the hell? Look how much damage Snake Man's doing. Snake Man. Oh, <laughs> Snake Man. Snake Man doing damage against Quick Man and his boomerangs. Quick Man and his boomerangs. Well, that kind of rhymes. All right. At least I know this guy's weakness now. I was dicking around on my Wii U playthrough using the Gemini laser. That did like three points of damage, but look at Snake Man, jeez. Like, that's doing so much damage. But you can only use so many at a time, and he's gonna kill me again. Damn it. Damn it, dude. If he if he wastes all my Oh thank god. Look how close I was to dying there. Damn, son. Woo! Well there you go. Well, that's what you get. <laughs> right, so Sparkman's now down, so we're going to do Needle Man. One of my favorite Doc Robot stages, actually. I like the revamp, the way Heli revamped this one. It looks really cool. Probably just as cool as Needle Man's original stage. Oh! Alright, so there are quite a few. En well, you can get, you can get quite a few energy tanks in this stage, if I remember. So I kind of want to try and save up on those as much as I can. So I'm not going to waste as many. <laughs> All right, so you have to jump. No, no, did no way did that just happen? No way did that just happen? Oh my god! All right, okay. <laughs> I like how the bullets just go in and make that sound so awesome. The sound it makes. Oh, I died again? No way am I screwing this up. Wait, do I have one more? I have one more extra life. <laughs> yeah, I do. Because I know I died uh, against Quick Man. So that lost me a life. Now I'm losing. Oh, wait, I gained another one back. Thank God. Right, okay, let's try not to screw this up this time. Like, I made a stupid mistake. <laughs> a really stupid mistake. And I made another one just there as well. Uh, and another one. And another one. Great. You kind of have to jump as soon as they close. Alright, yeah, getting this pattern down is kind of annoying. I'm just going to run through it. Okay, I'm going to die again. Oh my god. God. Well, if I die this time, I'm making a cut. I want to try and get that. You know, I'm going to use Rush Jet. Screw this. Using Rush Coil is kind of hard to get that, so I'm going to try to use Rush Jet. Maybe that will help. Oh, no, it, it, no, it didn't. <laughs> oh, no, it didn't. I might as well get a game over here. Alright, guys, I'm back. Right, so you know what? I've got plenty of health right now, so I'm not going to bother getting that health unit. <laughs> I'm just going to say screw it. And uh, try and get to the boss as fast as I can. And there's another extra life up there, so that'll be handy dandy. And I know that there is uh, another energy tank. Well, there is another. What? Do there isn't another? What the hell? That's the first energy tank we're coming up to in this stage. Just, like I'm saying that we've came across more than one. No, this is. There is an energy tank up ahead. Not there's another. <laughs> like, as if I've been across two energy tanks in this stage already. Right, I don't know if to use this guy's weakness already, because I know that I'm going to die here. I have a feeling that I am. I got a feeling that I'm going to die. Do, 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 do. Alright, so let's use Spark Man. Yeah, screw it. You know what? I am going to use its weakness. I don't know how much we're going to like how much damage we're gonna do to him but wow we actually beat him oh my god what okay I just went out I just went full out there I didn't even give a damn how much damage I was taking right so yeah this is probably the hardest part of the stage right here oh, I'm dreading this so bad and you know what? I'm gonna take the damage I'm just gonna die because this is the hardest part of the stage it's one of those um, where you got to use your rush 
shit. It's basically like the G Gemini Man stage where you have to use Rush Marine. It's one of those kind of things where you have to dodge enemies and stuff. And get energy refills as you go and energy re refills as you go along and I'm not doing so good cuz I took so much damage the cuz if you take damage it slows you down <laughs> and you don't want to slow down you want to speed up got to go fast guys I got to go fast leave me alone All right there you go got that uh, I'm not sure if there's an energy tank like towards the end of this part of the stage but the second half is a lot longer than the first, so, huh. Kind of like, um, uh, I need to go down a bit. Yeah, like that. Alright, so you just slide under like that, and then you end up at the bottom. God damn it, I hate those, whatever the hell they are, dragonflies, mosquitoes. I don't really give a damn what they are, but they're annoying, <laughs> Alright, so we're getting there. Almost done with the stage now, actually. We're like at the halfway point. And I think this guy might kill me, I don't know. I'm not even sure if there's a checkpoint in this part of the stage. Like, I know you got these things to kill, yeah. Oh, I need that. I so need that. <laughs> need that health. Yeah, these aren't so bad. They're not as bad as the penguins that you got in Gemini stage. And I could do with that as well. Thank you. Damn it, I can't jump high enough to get the plus symbol on his head because that's what you have to shoot to damage him is the plus symbol on his head. He isn't lowering, him, lowering himself down enough to shoot him. I'm almost tempted just to just use Rush Jet and get this over with. Oh, come on. There we go. You can get him very quickly on the first take. Like, the first time you encounter him, you can get him down to really low health on the first time you see him. And yeah, forget about those hard hats. I'm not going to bother you anymore. Yeah, you got more of these cannons. The annoying cannons. Well, that was handy. <laughs> I needed that, actually. See, it's always... Like, I've seen people get them on the first take. Ugh. There we go. Well, they, they aren't too bad, like I say, they're just a nuisance, I guess, that they're there, but, you know, they're not difficult in any way. Alright, so here we go, this is it, uh, the final boss of the stage. Alright, so we need to use Hard Man's power here. Hard Man Knuckle. And yeah, it's Crash Man. He's coming down. He looks actually quite different in this game, like the texture. He looks more pink than red. Whereas in Mega Man 2, he looked red. Whereas in this game, he has a texture change, I guess. Yeah, it's kind of hard to hit with the hard knuckle. But... Uh, there we go. He jumped right into that. Alright. <laughs> I'll take it. Alright, so... I don't really want to do Gemini Man. So we're going to do Shadow Man. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not in the mood to do Gemini. I think Shadow Man's, like the final boss in Shadow Man stage, is uh, weak to Shadow Blades, and the first boss is weak to Needle as well, I think. It's either Needle or, um. What other powers do we have? Yeah, so I, I'm pretty sure it's Needle. Because what else would it be? It's Woodman, by the way, that I'm thinking of. Slide under you, huh? Yeah, the first part of this stage is a real pain in the ass. The second part isn't really that bad. It's just the first part of it is so hard. 
the way how they revamped it and made it more difficult, they definitely did up the difficulty in this stage. Alright. Hence of hint of lag there, I think. Well, the light thing has disappeared. The annoying light. Right, here's the difficult part right here. Now, I don't know how... Oh, I knew that I was going to... Oh, yeah, this part of the stage is royal pain in the ass. Alright guys, sorry about that. I needed to get a refill. I've now got some sticky toffee pudding milkshake. Yep, you heard that right. Sticky toffee pudding milkshake. And it's really good. <laughs> Alright, okay, so just keep jumping. Yes, 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 yes. Show me your moves. <laughs> Well, there you go, we did it, so. We did the hardest part of the stage. So we can, it's pretty much smooth sailing from here until the end. Well, not necessarily, because we've got the bosses to fight, but. Yeah, and Woodman is a lot difficult in this game, because, I don't know, it, it, something about his attack, it just seems a lot more slower than what it was in Mega Man 2, and that's really disorienting, because... Like, you don't know when to jump, sometimes. Well, just keep shooting your needles at him. See, look how much damage we took against him there. Yep. We took half, and then we took another half. Huh. I took half of your life, and then I took another half of your life. Alright. <laughs> so, now we're going to use the arm cannon. Oh, dude. Calm down with that stuff. Calm down with that stuff, dude. Stop throwing your balls. No need to throw your balls away, they're precious. You should keep hold of them as much as you can. Don't throw them at me, I'm not gay. <laughs> Damn it. Okay, maybe I shouldn't have said that, but... Oh, I don't know. Just going crazy, I guess. Ow. Damn it. I'm trying to get these things is so. Pardon me. Okay, I just. Screw that. I might as well kill myself. There's no point I'm trying to fight that thing. Okay, I want to kill this thing as fast as I can. <laughs> there we go. And we also got a unit health back. Right, you know what? The easiest way to do this is just to do that. Okay, well, not take the damage, but. I'm not even sure if you can stand up, shoot and go back down, then stand up again, shoot him. Because he disappears from the screen for, for like a second. Whether that's just the emulation glitchiness or... I don't know. But he does go off the screen for like a second. Alright, so here we go. This is another tricky part of the stage, but... Like, it's just as... It's just basically the same as what it was last time, except they added new enemies to it. You got the side hoppers that appear. Yeah, these things. That jump from platform to platform, but if you just keep shooting consecutively, just keep on repeatedly shooting your pea shooter, you should be fine. <laughs> but you've got to land and shoot as fast as you can, like that. So, jump again, and jump again. Oh no, he got me! He got me! He killed me! No! Oh, that's a game over as well. <laughs> Alright, we're going to try and get through this segment again. Alright, okay. <clears throat> God damn it. <laughs> I had to use my E-Tank as well. Because I had to beat the boss. I didn't want to lose any extra lives, so... Well, that's how I did it. I had to waste one of my E-Tanks, and I know that another side hop is going to appear here. Ah, I managed to get him, don't worry. Oh, crap, no! That's not what I wanted to happen! Ah. Oh! Well, wow, this part of the stage is really starting to kick my ass now. I, I thought this was like the easiest part of the stage. I mean, look at me, I'm dying all the time. Just constantly dying over and over again. No! I did the same crap again. Ah, oh, for God's sake! Right, I think we're making it. I, I don't know if this is it. Yeah, it is. Right, finally! 
Yay, at long last, we made it to the end, and there's one of these things, great. <laughs> well, these aren't so much of a trouble. At least we still have our extra lives, so we should be able to fuck, be able to beat this boss. And then that'll be it for this episode, and then we can uh, start the other, well, the last robot in, the last dock robot stage in the next episode. And here we go, we're starting up with Heatman. Alright, so let's get Shadow Blades, and uh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this. I'm going to die, aren't I? Crap. I know it's Shadow Blade, because look how much damage it's doing. Yeah, but it's really hard. Oh my god. Alright, okay. Hang on a second. Yeah, just made a save, just in case I die. Huh. I don't want to have to redo everything that I did again, because... I can't believe I had to waste my energy tank, though. That was bogus. So let's go out with Shadow Blades again. Yeah, this guy has a very easy pattern to dodge, but his attack isn't so pleasant. <laughs> oh, what the hell? Well, I hit him there, but uh, he's going to kill me. Right, okay, we're doing this again. Yay, huh? Get Shadow Blades. Shadow Blades at the ready. Come on, Heat Man, with all your mus masculinity. Your fire attacks and whatnot. Like, it's easy to jump over him, but you can't, like, stop him from using the attack that he uses. I think you can slide out of it, slide out the way. Yeah, well, that works, I guess. Uh, you have to attack, though, at the same time. This boss is so annoying. Like, this is probably the most annoyingest dock robot boss that there is. Like, the ones in Gemini stage are really easy. I wish I kind of did that stage now, but... I might as well just get this one out the way, otherwise it's going to be, you know, on my mind. And I'm going to be like, Ugh, I, I still got to do that stupid Shadow Man stage. Well, I got him there. What the hell was that? Well, dude, I hit you. You shouldn't be throwing your crap. Come on, one hit. There we go. Ooh. Huh. I thought I wasn't going to make it that time either. But there you go. That's Shadow Man's Doc Robot stage done. So I guess in the next episode, let's play Mega Man 3. We take on Gemini Man's Doc Robot stage. So until then, this is NDM saying thanks for watching. Take care, everybody. See you in the next video. And goodbye.